morning, folks. Ron Ray here. We're turning 65 solutions. Today, we are talking Medicare supplements and specifically Medigap Plan N. N as in Nancy, Plan N. So there are several standardized Medicare supplement plans. We've already talked about the Plan G. Now we're going to cover the next most popular plan called the Plan N. And the Plan N works very much like the Plan G with a couple of important differences that we're going to talk about now. So the Plan G again covers 100% of all your hospitalization and uh, blood, hospice, skilled nursing facility, Part A deductible. Okay, and like the Plan G, it does not cover the Medicare Part B deductible, this part right here, right here, Medicare Part B deductible. Plan G, Plan N does not cover that. So that means that you pay the Part B deductible $203, okay? And another difference is these little stars right here. Go down and see what those say. Plan N pays 100% of the Part B coinsurance. That's the 20%, except for a copayment of up to $20 for some office visits and up to $50 for emergency room visits that do not result in an inpatient admission. So if you go to the emergency room, you don't spend the night, they can, they have the ability to charge you out of pocket up to $50 per visit. Same thing for doctors, they can charge you up to $20 per visit copay on a plan in. Okay, here's the other big difference right here between a plan in and a plan G. The plan in does not pay that 15% excess charge. So if you'll remember from our Medicare 101 class, Medicare Part B has two kinds of Medicare providers. There's participating providers and there's non-participating providers. Participating providers just take what you pay them plus what Medicare pays them as payment in full. And if there's any excess, the excess is just written off. There's a red bird fighting himself outside my window is what that noise is. I've tried to make him go away. Nothing works. He's just going to fight himself to death. Okay. So Part B excess charge is an additional 15% that non-participating providers are allowed to bill you. So they get the 20% from you or from your plan N or your plan G. But then if there is any excess, they are allowed to bill you an additional 15%. Okay, the Plan G pays that 15% for you, the Plan N does not. So that can be a pretty big bill. But here's the thing about that. It doesn't really come up very often. And it's preventable if you just ask ahead of time. If you ask your doctors, hey, do you accept Medicare assignment or not? And if they don't, you need to ask them, are you going to bill me the Part B excess charge at extra 15%? And just because they are non-participating providers, they don't accept Medicare assignment, doesn't mean they're going to bill you the 15%. The only problem I really see where this might come up is doctors that you don't really have a choice on, like anesthesiologists or, or um, uh, contracted emergency room docs. You don't really have a choice on those. So um, you need to ask, and then you can kind of fight it after the fact and, and go back and tell them, well, I didn't have a choice, so I'm just not going to pay you. And that's, that's uh, or you can negotiate with them that way. So I wanted to kind of touch on this a little bit more in depth. There is an article that just came out from the Kaiser Family Foundation. This is a really good source of what I find to be fairly non-biased information for healthcare and, and Medicare. How many physicians have opted out of the Medicare program? Well, I'm gonna skip most of this and I'm going to go to this part right here. This talks about participating providers, non-participating providers, and Medicare and doctors who don't take Medicare at all. Doctors who don't take Medicare at all, we don't really need to worry about those because you're just not going to see them and you'll know ahead of time because they're going to want some cash up front. Okay, so those we don't need to worry about. The other two, though, we do need to think about. And the first one is a participating provider. He's the one that, as I mentioned before, just takes the Medicare approved amount as payment in full and does not bill you anything else. So in that case, either a plan N or a plan G would pay exactly the same. The other one that we do need to think about, though, is the um, non-participating providers. And before I do that, I want to point out this little section right here. The vast majority, 97% of physicians and practitioners billing Medicare are participating providers. So that was a very small percentage 
of doctors who do not accept Medicare assignment and actually are allowed to bill you that 15%. But out of those, we're going to throw out um, doctors who don't see Medicare clients like pediatricians. Okay, and then we're going to say that out of those 3%, 99% of them accepted assignment anyway. In fact, more than 99%, 99.6% of fee scheduled claims by non-participating providers were paid on assignment. I'm going to highlight that sentence right there. Even the doctors that are allowed to bill you the 15% vastly don't. 0.4% of the claims were billed not on assignment, meaning they were allowed to bill the 15%. Okay, so that is that is a minuscule amount of doctors. Now, sure enough, that'll be the one that you find. So you still need to ask and make sure, but I think that is, that is a, a, a striking statistic right there. In 2018, 99.6% of fee schedule claims by non-participating providers, those are the ones that are allowed to bill you the 15%, were paid on assignment, meaning they did not pay the 15%. Okay, so that's pretty. That's a pretty big deal. I think that um, that's a pretty solid case for the plan in. So again, plan in. That's really kind of your risk right there. Is this Part B excess charge? That's your risk, and it's based on the. A number of doctors who actually bill that amount, I think it's a pretty small risk. So if the difference in um, annual premium between a plan G and a plan N might be uh, $100 or, or up to $200 in some areas, I think it I can make a pretty darn good argument for a plan N uh, in this day and age. So that's plan N. It's, it's not quite as scary as it seems, and I think it's going to be a better value going forward from here in 2021. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up on the, on the uh, video down there. That helps YouTube get it out to more people that need it. Also, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell right beside that uh, so that you get alerts every time I post a new informational video. And until next time, have a great day, folks. Bye.